welcome back to my channel. We are almost there. I am currently 38 weeks in one day and the gynae has kind of suggested that the baby is very well on his way. She's expecting him to come maybe sometime later this week. I don't know, I don't want to guess but anyway, I'm finally getting to packing my hospital bag. Previously, I've made a hospital bag checklist on my blog so if you prefer something more written, you can head over there and refer to that checklist. Otherwise, we're going to get packing and today I'm going to be packing with you guys. So the most organized way to kind of dissect what you need to pack in your hospital bag would be for the mom, for the dad and for the baby. And I'm going to start with the mom, so for myself. The first item would actually be my birth robe. And I'm bringing this extra like hand carry bag so that I have very quick and easy access to everything. This time I'm really downsizing my bag. Previously with Noah when we went to hospital, I guess because we were so last minute, we just threw everything into like a huge luggage the full size one. This time I'm only bringing a cabin bag because I realized I don't really need that many things for just like a one or two night stay. So in my hand carry, um, the first thing that I'm going to put in is my birth gown or birth robe. I intend to wear this during birth or right after birth. It's a very comfortable robe with um, a tie so very easy to wear. The next few items will be clothes to wear during my stay as well as my going home outfit of clothes that I'm bringing to wear during my hospital stay. This is definitely optional. The hospital actually provides hospital gowns and if you want to just wear that, you can save yourself the trouble, you know. So I've decided to bring these. Um, these are the lounge wear or maternity gowns that I've launched on Little For Longer. They are super duper comfortable and also very breastfeeding friendly. They open up right this way so you can just you know unbutton and breastfeed so i'm just bringing like maybe a couple i think just this one to wear and maybe like two options um if i'm going to be shooting in any of them if i'm going to be doing like a newborn shoot so this is one of my favorite sets this is a two-piece set it won't crumple so i can just really fold it right down and just pack it in so this is one more that I might use for the shoot. Also quite breastfeeding friendly. This one is not so breastfeeding friendly because the buttons don't open but it's super duper pretty. So I'm just bringing this as an extra option in case I want to shoot in it. Or should I not? I don't know. I think I have space for now. We'll see. Maybe I'll take it out. Okay, so I have got three outfits in my bag and the last outfit going in is this jumpsuit. It's just a, an overalls that I'm going to wear home. I'm also very loose fitting, very comfortable so I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to fit. Next up, my nursing bra and my underwear. I'm going to bring some normal underwear and some disposable underwear. I have actually already packed everything in a small little pouch just because it's a lot more organized this way. These are my disposable maternity briefs. And in here are my nursing bras and my underwear. I brought some nude options in case I'm going to wear them with the white outfits. So everything is going in a pouch and I'm going to sit right here. Next up, we have maternity pads. These are really thick, huge pads. I'm just bringing one set of it. I think I should have definitely more than enough because I'm not just going to be using these but also the cooling pads, the perennial cooling pads. So I'm just going to put this in here. For the perennial cooling pads, this is what it looks like. I actually bought all these from Mount A because I'm a ladies card member. So in one box, there are only three pads inside. So I'm very well going to finish using them, I think, by the end of my stay. So I'm bringing two boxes with me and I might actually buy more on the way home. But since they're so bulky, I'm going to be putting them in my hand carry bag. This would be really comfortable like right after delivery. So I guess having like easy access to it is helpful. For the other one, I'm just going to put it on the other side of the bag. I, I'm supposed to share this side of the bag with James, but I don't think he has got that many things. So I'm going to kind of invade his face. So this goes here. And the next things that I'm going to throw in would be my toiletries. This is a bag of everything toiletries related. I'm going to show you what's inside. The first thing that is quite important is the herbal perennial spray. I use this because um, I did a natural delivery with Noah, so I guess if it's the same, this would come in really handy. It helps to relieve any pain and soreness. The next thing is this Pureland Lanolin Cream. It's actually a nipple cream that helps with you know nipple soreness, especially if you're breastfeeding. 
I, I didn't bring this the first time or oh, I brought a balm but I found that that didn't really work for me and when the breastfeeding team came over to come and like help me they, they let me try like something similar to this so this time I bought a cream instead that's one and everything else in here are basically my skincare um, I've got all the small little tubes because I want to save space so I brought all the travel size ones I got like a brightening emulsion um, a light cream moisturizer fresh exfoliant scrub my sunblock always sunblock serum, my makeup remover, and just basically like all the basic skincare that I'm going to use and everything is going to just go in here. This is where I keep all my makeup, so I've just got some basic makeup, foundation, something for my brows, and not to forget a hydrating lip balm because your lips can get really dry with the aircon. I also brought some hair ties, putting it together with my makeup is going to go in here. So the other additional things that I have in my list include a book to read. This is one of my current favourites and I'm halfway through it so I'm just going to be bringing this along and this is going to go in my hand carry. It's the crib sheet, very apt. These are some disposable surgical masks. I'm just bringing extra so that I can change them every day. Covid times. I've also got nipple wipes which are really essential since I'm breastfeeding. I got a film camera and of course this is really important and this has to go in here because this needs to go into the label ward with me. This is the cord lining collection kit and the cord blood collection kit. So these two are going to go in here. Still have a lot of space in this bag. Very spacey bag. So now we'll move on to the baby stuff. So when packing for the baby stuff, I actually have these beautiful hospital bag organizers that I have designed um, because I just really love the idea of you know putting things into pouches because it's so much easier to find them and it's just a great way to make sure that you bring everything that you need to. So these are hospital bag organizers that I'm also launching on Little For Longer. They include swaddles and wraps, of course a going home outfit, your birth announcement, their clothes, baby's first outfit, and accessories. So just following this, we're just gonna pack one by one. So I've decided for baby's first outfit to be this. Comes with a very cute bonnet, and this also super duper cute. I'm gonna just pack everything together inside this pouch so that I don't miss out. I'm gonna bring two sets of spare clothes, although I know this is probably overdoing it because I don't think the baby needs that many like outfit changes. Okay, and then the going home outfit. Just gonna pack it all in here. And for the birth announcement, so we've got a very cute hello world and you are blessed, you are loved. These are some options. I have also a few more options coming in tomorrow and if I haven't popped yet, then I'm going to be adding it in here. For the accessories, this, which is super duper cute, as well as some booties and a little bit clip as well as a little toy. Now for my swaddles and wraps, I'm going to bring three different options so that I have um, a variety and because I don't have like that much space limitations. Um, this one which could also double up as a blanket and this. Alright, so we're all good. Now we're going to put everything into baby's diaper bag. His diaper cream on this side. Wet wipes and everything else. Everything that belongs to the baby has gone in here and for myself, this as well as half of the luggage. I will leave the other half for James to pack his things and I'll just quickly share with you the list that I made for him. His camera equipment because he's going to be documenting. His tripod in case we want to do family photos since we can't actually have more than one or two visitors, I'm not sure. But I think we're just going to take our own pictures. Laptop, hard disk, memory card reader for work. A charging station which is really important and I'd highly advise a really really long wire so that if let's say I want to charge my phone while being in bed, I can still have access to it. Pajamas for him, two outfits for him and toiletries which he can actually share with me otherwise he can pack his phone. So that's all that I have for 
my hospital bags. I am actually ready right now. I'm more ready than James is. So if the baby comes anytime, I can actually take all these and go. So thanks for staying with me and for inspiring me to pack this luggage today. I guess I'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content that I create. Bye! Thank you.